welcome to Cracksoid. So Durfest Rome has rolled out its latest OTA update and I am downloading it and I'll show you what's new in this latest Durfest Rome. So without further ado, let's start. So in its about phone section, the first change you will notice is on its Durfest version which is of 2023-120 and in its previous version it was of 2023-18. It has the same Android security update of January 5, 2023 and same old Exorcist kernel is used as before and obviously running on latest Android version 13. Checking on Play Protect certification on Play Store app device is certified and it has the same aperture camera used which have scan feature and can record video up to 4K at 30fps. 60 fps is still not available also you can use gcam in this room as gcam is working perfectly on my phone in this version of turfist you will get same google phone dialer and messaging application and no auto call record option is present in it also you will receive recording announcement while doing call record but you can now easily remove that call recording announcement for that you need to watch my video from the description section as I was using this Durfest for a long time and I don't do heavy things and didn't face any lags or slowdowns while using this Durfest ROM. These have minimal apps pre-installed and this is giving me smooth user experience on my normal uses. And this is how quick setting panel looks like which have setting and power menu icons at the bottom. And it has some new tiles in it like volume panel tile from where you can adjust the volume of your device as well as there is a separate auto brightness tile from where we can turn auto brightness on or off. And other tiles like dwarf space, scan QR code and sleep mode is also present. And this scan tile works perfectly in this room. Also now you can easily access to scanner from lock screen mode. There is a separate QR scanner icon available from where you can access to it. Also on lock screen torch icon is present which was not available in its previous version from where you can turn torch on and off very easily by tapping it. Inside its wallpapers and styles there is no changes made. You will get some dark faced wallpapers and also wallpapers colors, basic colors with dark theme, themed icons, app grid, system fonts, system icon packs are present. And in widget you will get all the latest Android 13 widgets including this clock widget. As it has Durfest launcher available and from recent apps we can access to split screen as well as free form windows. And inside its home screen, no any changes have been made and still we cannot access to lanes and screenshot button on recent apps. As there is only show lanes button available which will replace screenshot button with Google lenses. And in home screen, only hidden apps is present and for app lock, you need to go to another place where I'll reach very soon in this video. Inside its network and internet, there is private DNS without custom DNS which is similar as its previous version. And from apps, you can access to game space feature which looks something like this. And from notification, you can enable blink flashlight for incoming calls. And inside battery, you will get features like battery uses, battery charge warning, battery saver, adaptive battery, battery optimization, block sensors, kill background process, sleep mode and will also show current battery temperature and from battery saver you can enable extreme battery saver option inside its display there is adaptive brightness with screen timeout and the maximum limit for screen timeout is 30 minute also screen attention is present which will not turn off the screen if you are looking at it and inside dark theme you will get pure black theme and schedule option also inside display setting display cutout is present which most of the custom room has included in its developer option and from your security setting you can use this app lock feature also face and fingerprint unlock is available in this room and in app language only youtube is supported other apps are still not supported in app language setting we can directly access to USB configuration from here which was also present in its previous build. And from buttons you can enable taskbar feature and disable power menu on lock screen. You will also get Turfist updater from where you can update to latest version of Turfist through OTA updates. Also some other gesture settings like swipe to take screenshot, 
press and hold power button for power menu or digital assistant with quickly open camera is present. In this Torp face, you will get Torp space setting from where you can do lots of customizations on your phone. You can enable traffic indicators from here and from miscellaneous you can use this status bar lyric and logo feature which will be seen on status bar section. Also this separate signal icons is present which will show signal and Wi-Fi icons separately. Also Wi-Fi type icon is present which will show Wi-Fi type number in Wi-Fi signal indicator. From notification you will get this reticker option and from lock screen you can disable ripple effect and hide status bar on lock screen which looks something like this on lock screen mode. Also you can change lock screen clock font and here these clock fonts are available which is really good but no any new fonts are added. So in this door face you will get parallel space which now many rooms are providing and this works properly. In its system setting, you will get pulse setting and this have navbar pulse, lock screen pulse, ambient pulse and many more features related to pulse. And in customizations, you will get advanced monet setting from where you can do lots of changes in colors and themes. Also in this Torfest, unlimited photos and videos uploading feature is available. So this is all about this latest build of Torfest ROM which is running on Android 13. I like to use this ROM on my Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and everything is functioning well in this Torfest ROM. So that's it for this video. What do you think about this Torfest ROM? You can comment down on the comment section and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and share this video. Also subscribe to Cracksoid and hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.